how do I know what level I am or what level I'm on in terms of Iman? That you found in a beautiful tradition without a doubt. Sometimes people ask, how do I know what level I am or what level I'm on in terms of Iman? Without a doubt, there's a beautiful tradition where the Prophet talks about the stages you're at in Iman according to the number of verses you recite a day from the Qur'an. Today, if I were to ask all of you, what is the average number of verses you recite a day from the Qur'an? You'll find some people turn around and say, average number maybe 10, others 50, others 100. The Holy Prophet even discussed it. He said, if you want to know the levels of the human, it's according to the number of verses they recite of the Qur'an a day. Those who recite 10 verses of the Qur'an are not counted as being amongst the ghafilin. Ghafilin means what? A ghafil is someone who's heedless of this world. Heedless in the sense that I don't care. Heaven, hell, qiyamah. I'm not interested in any of this. Don't talk about Qur'an with me. It's all boring. This religion is boring. Yes? Rasulullah says, a person who recites 10 ayahs a day, he is not counted as of the heedless. What does that mean? If I recite 9 verses, what am I? Heedless. How many of us hand on heart could say there are many days which go past where we should be called the heedless? Then the Holy Prophet says what? Those who recite 10 verses, they are not the heedless. Those who recite 50, they are amongst the dhakirin, those who remember Allah constantly. Try and get into that habit in this holy month. 50 verses a day. Try it. With 50 verses a day, see the difference. You'll notice that if I could dedicate reciting 50 ayat of the Quran a day, my Lord terms me as one of the dakirin, one of those who remembers his Lord constantly. Then Rasulullah says, but if the person recites 100 ayat a, a day, he is of the qanitin, means of those who's obedient to Allah all the time. Without a doubt. If you want to progress from ghafil to dhakir to qanit, it's appropriated by the amount of verses you recite within the Holy Quran. If you were to ask many Muslims today, how many verses of the Holy Quran do you recite? Many of them will reply to you, to tell you the truth, I don't recite except in Shah Ramadan, or except in a funeral, or except in a nikah. True? When you ask, they'll reply to you, on these occasions I recite. Some will say to you, no, I promise I recite the same surah every Thursday for 50 years. Habib, there's no other surah in the Quran. So every Thursday you only have one surah in the Quran or 114? As in there's no Anfal, no An'am, no Haqqa, no Mujadala. It's like, what do you mean? I know Yasin and I just about Yasin. You're telling me Haqqa and Mujadala and all of these. Therefore you found the Holy Prophet, what did he say? He said, move from the Ghafil to the Zakir to the Qanit. Why? Because if a person neglects this Quran and abandons it, then they'll have the worst of leaders take over their communities, without a doubt. Oh.